blazer's collection, but I'm debating which sock looks better. I'm leaning towards white. So I just had to do my full makeup in here and get dressed, but we're good to go. We're gonna meet Amber and head to the training. Here's Amber, yay! <laughs> All this stuff and it was overweight for a four day trip. Actually, it's a three day trip, like two and a half days. We made it out to the train station. So for a little background, we're going on a trip to Santa Barbara with the knot. It's all engaged couples and then me and Amber, but that's okay. We're gonna do some wedding workshops. We're gonna do some excursions. There's one cultural excursion. We're gonna go to a few different places around Santa Barbara. So I'm excited. This is gonna be the kickoff of my wedding planning. I haven't done anything yet. I did a little bit. I've got my Pinterest board, but this is gonna be the beginning of everything. So I'm hoping to absorb a lot of information. I'll share everything back with you. Right now we've got our bags. We're gonna go roll into train station and get on that train to Santa Barbara. How was your flight? Great. Great. Long. Every event on this trip has a very specific dress code and this is like travel chic for little outfits. They said we're suede, brown denim, travel-y vibes. So that's what we went with. Very cute. Have not eaten today, so we've got a little Subway. Got the cutest little picnic basket. Look at this. Literally Pinterest perfect. We got macaroons with the knot logo. So cute. We got our champagne and crackers for the train. Yummy. There's so many things in here. Let's open it all up. The basket unboxing no one asked for. Non-alcoholic for tea. A little honey. Honey scooper. Soccer bit. That's what I will be eating. <laughs> Yummy little board. We've eaten so much. I feel like oh this is so cute. It's got little fruits inside. Like, Here's the full little spread. Yum. I'm gonna go for the candy first. First macaroon. How is it? Oh, there's a sweet mix and a sour mix. Personally, I will never say no to a tubey candy. It's my favorite. This is the cutest little charcuterie. So the concept for the full trip is that all of these experiences are things that we can do at our weddings or people can take as inspiration for their wedding. So we're on our way to the hotel now. So if you're having your guests fly into a different city, you can buy out the train, work with the train, get everyone these cute little packages, which is really cute. I'm gonna save this for inspo because I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna do for Albania, so. I'm gonna share all the vendors along the way too if you guys are interested. So this is called Soulful Charcuterie. The sweet and sour candy boxes are by Soccer Bit. And I just wanted to tell everybody what to be here for, right? And I think for people who are about to get married, this is key for you and your partner to know so that you can navigate your wants and your needs. <laughs> We're headed into the back now. We're going to do a little tarot reading. Uh, and tell me your name. Rachel. Rachel. You have a lot of logic in your hands. Right. But there's this undertone of sensitivity. Okay, you need to utilize that more. But you do things with detail, you're really good with details. <laughs> yeah, like, she is. It's like, what you're saying is communicating more than you know. But the Ten of Wands is not a good card because you're usually doing too much. Amber's turn now. <laughs> Readings, what did you think about yours? I think it was like so spot on in like so many ways. I was always scared of doing stuff like that. She was like, you, she didn't say it was a control freak, but that's what she was getting. <laughs> very detail oriented. Oh, detail oriented, but to a fault. Or like, I can't let it control me, essentially, which I know. I yeah, know, I know. Yeah. I will literally look at her and say, like, it stresses me out how detail oriented. It stresses me out too, but I feel like I need that. But in yeah, order to some people need that structure and some people need like that. I, I need the opposite. Like, but there is overkill. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, no more view. We've got two more hours to do the hotel. We got a little more day, but we still got a lot of snacks and a lot of candy. So we're done with our reading. We'll see you at the hotel. What a view! Okay, we made it to Santa Barbara. We've got our own school buses. Wait, so cute! Oh, yeah, it's a line. That's true. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. 
We made it to the hotel. Now we're gonna check in and then get settled for dinner. The vibe here is vibing. I can't wait to just see everything in the morning. I will be swinging on this porch by the end of our stay. That is so cute. Here's our room. It smells amazing. We've got a fireplace. Gorgeous, gorgeous beds. I wonder what our view is. We'll see in the morning. I turned on the fireplace. Got a little seating area. So cute. This is like the design I want my home. Like, look at this. This little painting. So cute. I love that. Closets, kitchen stuff, and the bathroom. Eee! <laughs> the bathroom is stunning. There's a patio outside. In the pool. Oh, I want to see. Ooh. Wait, this is nice. Wow. Dinner's been pushed back because our train and our bus situation was a little bit late. So we've got dinner. Instead of 7.30, we're doing at eight. We've got icebreakers. I'm nervous. I feel like icebreakers, I always somehow screw up, but whatever, I guess that's the point that there's no pressure, but I always get in my head about it. So we've got icebreakers, welcome drinks, and then dinner. We're gonna just get a little pretty again, deplay in ourselves and, oh my God, this pillow is so cute. Look how tiny it is. <laughs> so, so tiny. And there's cookies, yum. Gin. Maddie's original chef was known for his lace sugar cookies, which were a staple in the 1900s. So 1900s cookies. Mm, that's good. I did not even realize until I unpacked. This is an offensive number of shoes I brought for a three night trip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is more shoes than I've ever traveled with in my entire life. But we are having photo shoots and every event is different themed. So if it's necessary, maybe. Me when I'm in any hotel room is just instant splatter, but I need to see everything in clumps in order to like understand what I need to wear, especially for content. Like I just need to be inside a closet. I can't have it in a suitcase. Otherwise I get so confused. Technically we've got four minutes until dinner. That's crazy. I feel like they're probably gonna push back to 8.30, but obviously I'm nowhere near ready. So let's do that now. We did the quickest of getting ready for dinner tonight, night one. The theme is, I'll put the mood board here so you can see what we're dealing with. The mood board is fiesta chic, equestrian formal. Didn't know what to do with that, but I feel like this jacket is kind of that vibe. And then I just got this brown set I've been trying to wear forever. I feel like it's a little, a little hoofy, so that's what we're going with. We are like a half hour late, but I wonder if everyone else is late. I think it's probably fine. Look at this cute little pre-drinks room. Night one, inspo for weddings in the barn over here. So cute. Such a cute place sitting. Mm. And those of you who are stressed, hopefully we will lighten the load. These are all the vendors from our trip. Yeah, we're just going to start prepping now. Yeah, you just never know. <laughs> now I'm six months away. Family. Yummy. Is it? so good. I mean, I wouldn't like that. <laughs> We got back from dinner. It was delicious. It was just really cold outside, so we're still recovering from the temperature. Dinner was delicious. There was these tomato breads that were so good, and then I had this green thing that was oniony. I don't know. It was amazing, though. I'm excited for the food for the rest of the trip. Tonight, we're gonna do just a tiny bit of work. Tomorrow, we're starting off with a morning walk, so I'm gonna lay my outfits out for that. We got the fireplace going, and just get cozy and settle in. Everyone's been talking about these freaking beds all day. I'm so excited. That was like the main topic of conversation. Oh yeah, no, that's comfy, <laughs> so squishy. Oh, okay, I'm so excited to sleep. Everyone was right. The bed was 10 out of 10. I looked at the pillows. They're from this place in Jersey. So comfy. The bed, wonderful. The pillows, the blanket, everything is amazing. I slept pretty well, but I was up really late last night actually doing some work that was non-optional, so I really had to do that. Look at this view. Here's our little balcony, and then out here is the pool. So pretty. And hopefully it's gonna be a nice day out. We're all staying in these little cabins, so as you can see, it's all just these little buildings. So we're in this one over here. It's so cute out here, but it is a little chilly. This morning we're going on a protozoa walk, which from what I've gathered is like prehistoric flowers. We'll see. There was an optional zip lining, but I was too scared. I had one like traumatic zip lining incident in Costa Rica and never again. Then after that, we've got our sessions with the pros. So we're gonna do a ton of wedding workshops and I'm this is like what I'm excited for I the whole weekend you could just stuff me with wedding workshops and I'd be so happy so I'm looking forward to that getting ready for our walk this morning and my rare beauty highlight <laughs> just exploded 
I don't know, the whole top just came off. That was super weird. We're gonna get ready. We're headed out at 7.40. Yesterday, I realized I've had a few different aesthetics I am obsessed with for the wedding, yeah. <laughs> and just talking to everyone, it kind of came to me a little bit what I like and don't like, which I'm happy because a lot of the people here, they're further along on their wedding yeah. journey. I feel like I most people- I think you're definitely there, like, yeah. I'm just trying to ask people questions and figure stuff out, learn from what they've done so far, and hopefully it'll help me a little bit because we are at the stage where literally nothing is planned. <laughs> Although for Albania, we do have the venue, which pretty much is all inclusive. So I guess that's a big chunk, but for US, we don't know what we're doing. So hopefully I get some good ideas. construction but look at this view it's insane this is the inside of the venue i don't know if you can see out the window but it's the entire valley it's so beautiful so if you're a bride they're hoping to have this ready by this december so this will be ready and they were saying on the tour in the spring this all gets filled with clouds and this house is above the clouds so if you're here at the right time you'll literally be like floating in the clouds with the mountains in the back here you can see the little house we just toured is all the way down there and now we're up at the top where the zip line is. Luckily we're not going and decided that was absolutely not going to happen for me but the rest of the group is going to go. Amber might still go. Are you going to go? No, I'm <laughs> we're going to stay on solid ground. So this is the highest and longest zip line in California. Crazy. At least you start low down here and then you go over this valley and they said it's like three or four hundred feet. That's crazy. You know what? It doesn't look that bad. I had two semi traumatic zip line incident so that's not happening for me but I consider I really did consider it I watched their videos on their Instagram for like 30 minutes and then I was like no I'm too I'm too windy here's the rest of the group this is what they look like is contracted with the Ritz so they sell these for those huge lobby bouquets and also for weddings so we're kind of looking at florals we could have in wedding arrangements. These are some of the fillers they also put in bouquets. So this is my second area. I swear to god I might have just found my wedding bed. It looks like all my dreams and boo boys. Look at these mountains. Okay, there's another plot of land up on top that needs to be cleaned out, but you can see this could be a reception venue too. Those are the mountains. We were kind of down there before, but the mountains out back that way is insane. We got our poolside lunch. The grains were so good yesterday at dinner. I literally had to get more. Diet Coke, coffee, let's go. So basically I figured out my entire wedding today. <laughs> There's no more planning to do. But she I, went from zero to 100. <laughs> we had our lunch, now we're getting, sorry, you're changing. We had our lunch, we're getting dressed now for um, flower arranging work session with some of the planners that are here. And then I think we're having a dance class and doing olive oil tasting or something, but here's a little outfit. I had something totally different planned, ended up borrowing Amber's Source Unknown sweater. This cute little heart bag that went with the other outfit. I feel like it goes fine with this one. And then this ruffly skirt and I put my compression socks in this outfit and just my Rothy's flats because my feet hurt from yesterday. Look how stunning. We're gonna be here for our flower arranging class later. We had our little session, super helpful. Now we're going off to lunch. So for our little workshop, we were chatting about different styles, how to get different photographers and vendors into different places, because I loved that place we saw today, but it's kind of unrealistic to get to get all the vendors up there because it is a new spot. So learning a little bit more about that. And the big thing that I was trying to like focus on and remember was just at your wedding, you'll probably get split up. You probably won't get all the time you want to yourself and how to get that time for yourself and how to stay together as a couple, which is funny. Apparently a lot of couples at their weddings just get split up because your family wants you in different directions. So, so we just kind of talked about ways you can kind of stick together. Look how beautiful it is out here. So cute, these table settings out here in the little garden. Um, our Let's cute. smell some herbs. Okay, we're just gonna pat her down. I probably should have washed more, I don't know. And then we should put it in the bottle. So cute. Here's our cute little bottles. I think we did okay. I feel like I put garlic in mine. I have garlic in mine too. Time to 
time for our flower arranging. Look how cute! Yes, yes. We put together some fun little arrangements. You can just go to a Trader Joe's or an Erewhon and um, grab some florals. So where we want to start is we want you to pick. Ooh! That's for Sam. Get our little aprons on. Cute. I just bend them. So that it doesn't over. So cute. And how beautiful it is. And we hope that you got it. Yeah. And you know what? When the Wi-Fi is not working, I'm up. I feel like I was literally going after what I'm expecting my floors to do. But just like take a professional. I've been DJing for about 16 years, so I've kind of seen everything and anything. Today we kinda I just wanted to give you some ideas of what to talk to when you're talking to your DJ. You're dancing. We finished our DJ session, learned some stuff. Now we're off to dancing, and I got a little refill on one. So start on our right foot. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right. right. <laughs> now we're off to our candle making class. So cute. It's funny, we're at the point now with this day where I fell in love with that venue, and I'm just like, everything we're doing, I'm imagining it at the venue that we went to this morning, which is crazy. So I'm gonna email them, I'm so excited. I don't know, I'm just picturing it there now and I can't get it out of my head. What a pretty bouquet. He's so, so nice, good, right? yeah. Here is all our stuff for candle making. This is the level of commitment I need for YouTube, the videographer is editing the videos. We're in and we're filming right now. We got all our videos from this morning out. Literally the hike we went on this morning is already complete. Posted. It's very impressive. With the speed, I was amazed. We're in Solvang and we're here at our dinner at the Lansby. Unloading from the bus now. Dream in color. Okay, our DJ Kyle DJing dinner tonight. I filmed this earlier, but it accidentally deleted We Are In and their outfits for dinner, so here's what we're wearing. The theme is floral, so we tried to go with that. We were trying to do floral for night time, but this is what we got. Okay, this is Full wedding. We've got a little cake over here. So beautiful with the pressed flowers. All the candles are so pretty too. I'm in love with this vibe. No, this is a legit wedding out of here. Each event is made again to be like a wedding and we've got all the frickin' inspo here. I'm loving the earthy, mix-matched kind of vibe. This is so cute. And the candles, honestly, I love the florals like this that are kind of like a little bit all over the place and the single candles are very cute. I am taking notes. Let's look for our place setting. Yeah! on our bus ride back home from dinner. Morning. We've got a bit of a calmer morning today. We've got hair and makeup midday and then our shoot kind of at noonish. This morning we're getting breakfast and luckily now we kind of have time to relax and do content so we're gonna do that. It started sprinkling and raining yesterday but it looks like it's gonna be really pretty today so let's go get breakfast. I've got to do some content. Yesterday I spent all this time doing a sponsored post that I accidentally posted on the wrong day. So I have to do that again today. But actually this is super relevant. If you guys want a discount on Converse, I've got a link I'm gonna put down below in the description, but you can get 20% off anything site-wide if you check out their corner. So I'm gonna put that down there. We have a little buffet for breakfast and we were sitting down and I looked and our freaking flower arrangements are the ones on the table. And I didn't even notice because they were so beautiful. Mine is front and center, so I am proud. Proud, proud florist. Already dug in, but yummy. We're getting ready now for our photo shoot. Let me 
me show you what my outfit options are. This dress from Meshki, I love, and I feel like since Aogen's not here, I don't want it to be like an engagement shoot, but it's so cute. I feel like I should just wear it. And I have a ton of white, so I'm filming a little TikTok with all of these options. So I've got this set from Club L London. I wasn't planning to wear it, but I put it on for the video and I'm obsessed. It's got this little like shoulder cape. I feel like for the photo shoot, this is gonna be like the moment. I don't know, but I need it like pinned, pinned in back. So fucking cute. I need to just get it taken in and then it's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna wear it for sure for something bridal. This is my third outfit option and this is what I thought I was gonna do beforehand. It's like the white lace pants that I'm obsessed with in a blazer. It's kind of open, so I hope it's not like scandalous, but I think it's cute. I've got some accessories we can try to throw on, but I've gotta go get my hair and makeup done. My pants are super long and I made the mistake first time I wore them of just wearing them loose, so I've got them tied up. We're gonna run over for hair and makeup. I'm kind of nervous. I don't know. I just feel like professional photos, professional hair and makeup sometimes doesn't go great. But Corey was telling us we should use this as like a test run. So I'm gonna tell them what I want my bridal makeup to look like. And then this can be my test run of seeing if I like how I can describe certain things and how makeup artists translate what I'm saying. If I say natural, what does that mean to them? You know, fingers crossed, let's go. Oh yes, I need. We're starting off with makeup. I'm gonna do a little glowy kind of neutral look. Oh my God, Amber's hair looks so good. It already looks so cute. Okay, here's my little finished look after the hair and makeup. I'm obsessed. I've never had my little wispy pieces look so cute. And I did a little clip in ponytail. We're ready. Let the photo shoot begin. Oh my God, Amber. This is a dream. Holy shit. We came to a vineyard. We're gonna be shooting our big group photo. Everyone came in black and white, which is so funny, but this is absolutely stunning. There's the mountains in the back. Ugh, the cows, so picturesque. This looks like a screensaver. Now it's time for wine. Tell me why there's a literal root on my shoe right now. That is ridiculous. Oh my God, this photo shoot. So I wanna introduce myself like Sunny. I am the events manager here. Oh, this one's gonna go. Is it? Oh my God, don't kick yourself in the face. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Jeez, so cute. I'm finishing up my video, my swipe video in every single outfit. It's been so hard to keep track of it while we've been running around, but I think I've done a pretty good job. I had to put on my um, train outfit again, just because I didn't get to do, or I did it in the train, but it didn't really work out how I wanted. And the last clip is the formal look, which I am so excited for. We've got like two hours, which is so nice, two hours before dinner. So we're gonna do hair and makeup touch-ups. So I might have them do like something different with this hair piece, because it's just kind of blonde now. It was so windy out, then we've got dinner. It's getting chilly out here. I'm on my way to get my touch up. These hairs smell out a little bit, so I'm just gonna get extra cute for the last dinner. And then we leave super early in the morning. Here's the barn where we've been doing all of our main events and touch ups. Just got my makeup done, love it. I pinned a little hair away just so it was a little more balanced. Um, but now that the trip is coming to an end, I feel like this has been one of the best brand trips I've been on. The people are amazing and it's just been great to connect with people on something that's so personal. So all of us are in this kind of critical moment and it's full of stress and everyone's got all these fun, exciting decisions and it's so cool just to hear from people, learn from people, not just the experts, but also the other creators are with and everyone's kind of going through the same pressure of mixing content with your wedding, which is something I've been thinking about a lot. It's been great to meet people from all over and just relate to them about that thing, but also just talking to the planners who are here has been so helpful for me. I feel like I'm learning a lot. Even though I don't have details planned out for my wedding yet, it feels like I'm just learning a lot of stuff that's going to be very useful for me as I'm in this process. It's hard to distill, but I think I've got three nuggets that really stuck to me. So the first is about music, actually, which was unexpected. You need to not cater just to what you like, but what your audience is going to be. What's the demographic? For me, I know my wedding's mostly gonna be like an older crowd, I assume, just because the numbers of people in each generation, it's gonna be a lot older. So that is a certain vibe and certain songs. You can obviously play anything you want, but that's something to consider. Second thing is about the venue. I love a venue in nature and I feel like that 
comes with a lot of challenges. And if you need to bring furniture up a mountain, if you need to bring a bar up a mountain, there's gonna be all sorts of fees that I'm not really prepared for. So even if the venue fee is less, it could be a lot more money to do something like that when it's customized and you're building it from the ground up versus somewhere where you just pop in and do it. The third thing is really to divide and conquer. So I am super passionate about organizing and planning this wedding, but your fiance may have different priorities. So it's been cool seeing the couples that are here together, even though Ayogan's not here. It's cool to see them divide and conquer. So if you really think about it, obviously everyone cares about like the whole wedding, but if you really think about it, is the music important to you? Is the food important to you? Are the flowers the most important thing to you? Who knows? Everyone has different priorities. I think for me, probably the decorations is the most important thing to me and the photography. So then you can, you don't have to take it all on yourself. Those are the types of things you can each weigh in differently on. So if your fiance is obsessed with the food, take control of that, take charge. So you're not just doing everything one person. It's kind of like divided up and it'll make the process just totally easier for everyone. Those are my nuggets. I might have different nuggets after tomorrow, but it's been a great learning experience. Also, how freaking cute is this little like gazebo thing? I love it so much. I go in there any chance I can get. We've arrived at dinner. Pretty much everyone has settled on the green theme, which is funny because the color scheme was all colors, but we all ended up in green. This is wild at our cocktail hour. We've got a, literally a full wedding out here so we can get a feeling for the vibe. This is so cute. And then on the other side, we have a more modern one. Let me show you that one. Here is the more modern wedding on the other side of the party with purple flowers and these little wicker chairs. Ah, oh, they made a whole little aisle. This is so cute. <gasps> wow. They just opened the doors to our dinner and this is so stunning. Look at this room. These florals are setting absolutely unrealistic expectations for my own wedding. This is insane. Everyone gasped when the doors opened. Big, big, big thank yous. First off to our nine amazing couples. Look at this. It says we're having a Bermuda Triangle. Look how beautiful this is. Yummy. We look up from dinner and there's snow. I was gonna finish the vlog at dinner last night and then I just ended up having such a good time. I was like, we'll just enjoy that and sign out in the morning. So I'm here getting our candles from the excursion. A few people haven't picked theirs up yet and I was hoping our flowers would still be here and they are. So we've got a couple minutes before we're heading back on the train. This was such a fun trip. I have had the best time. Mm, it smells so good. I just realized I haven't shown you this side over by the tavern. It's just so cute in this little porch. We're late for checkout. We gotta take our bags all the way over there. So I'll see you guys next time.